can feel one down there. I just know there's one down there looking at it. You know, you just get a feeling, man. It's almost too quiet. There's one down there looking at it. Yep, dude. That's a good fish. That's a big brook. That's a big brook trout. There we go. Well, how's it going, guys? Welcome back to another video. We are targeting big brook trout today. We're headed to this lake that's caught some really big fish in it. Uh, the biggest I've ever caught was about a three pounder through the ice. So there's some nice fish in there, but they are super, super smart. So we're not going for numbers today. We're going for a couple fish. I got my spinning rod and my fly rod with me. And uh, yeah, I'm actually kind of sick. You can probably hear it in my voice. I'm not feeling too good. I got a bad head cold. And being out here is probably not gonna help. It's probably gonna make things a lot worse, but I'm not about to just sit at home while there's fish to be caught, all right? I'm taking advantage of every day before winter. So we got a short hike into this lake. So let's get there, start fishing. All right, here we are. Beautiful lake full of big brook trout. And I even heard that there might possibly be some tiger trout in here. I think I'm gonna head over to that end of the lake where it's a little bit deeper. I think we'll have a better chance over there. Oh man. I'm running out of breath. So much easier. Oh, there's a fish right there. I just watched a fish come up and hit the surface right there. I might as well just start right here. This is about as good a spot as any. There's probably a lot of fish hanging out along these rocks. All right, so I had to take off my jacket because it's getting kind of warm out here. Like I said, I brought my fly rod and my spinning rod. And while I'm fly fishing, I'm gonna throw out a gulp minnow on my spinning rod and just let it sit on the bottom and see if something swims by and picks it up. Like I said, the fishing can be really tough here and I want as much chance to catch a fish as possible. So if that means throwing a gulp minnow, I'll do it. We're not gonna have any additional weight. We're just gonna toss it down weightless, let it sink to the bottom, and we'll see what happens. All right, just toss it out there, let it sink to the bottom. Oh my gosh, a fish just jumped right there. Another one, right here in front of me. This is crazy, all right. And on my fly rod, oh, there's a fish, there's a tiger trout. Oh, there's a tiger trout right there. Dude, dude, there's a tiger trout right there. Oh my goodness, there's two of them. That is crazy. I knew there were tiger trout in here, but I didn't think I'd see one. That's the first fish I see. So my rod is a Pisifun sword, nine foot five weight. I haven't used this rod since last October, but it's a good rod. So we're using it today because if you saw in one of the last videos, I snapped the tip on my temple fork combo, but I got a new tip coming in. So until then we're using this guy and my top fly is a pink scud down to uh, olive green balance leech. This should get them. There's a lot of little shrimp in here that you can see. So that's primarily what they're feeding on. This should work. Um, we just have to find a fish that's willing to bite. Oh, just got a bite. First bite of the day from a little tiger trout right here close to shore. Oh, I watched him come up and take it too. There's the first bite. Got him, got him. There we go. Dude, first fish. Not exactly what I'm going for. I'm going for giant brook trout, but I mean, there are a bunch of these. Oh, and he just popped off, shoot. Well, that's cool though. There are a bunch of those little tigers that I've seen just cruising the shoreline. I don't think there's too many big tiger trout. I could be wrong, but as far as I know, um, there's no older generations of tiger trout in here. So that's cool. I'll take a tiger though. Those will probably keep us entertained at least. Oh, oh, one just chased it up when I was lifting it out of the water. Dang it. There he is. Oh, that's a nicer one. What is that? Is that a brook or a... I can't tell. It's a good fish oh, though. It's a brook trout. Yeah. Check that out, folks. Nice brook trout. I was like, that's a little bit too big to be one of those tigers. First fish of the day. That didn't take long. Look at that gorgeous fish. Holy cow. Holy cow. That is beautiful. Dude, that is what I'm here for. Oh my goodness. Just a football shaped brookie. My goodness. Starting to get those spawning colors. 
he ate the leech. Kind of surprised he didn't go for the scud because, I mean, you can see a ton of little shrimp swimming around everywhere. So you figure they'd be keying in on that. And that is what we're here for. Beautiful brook trout like that. That's a good start, but there are way bigger fish out there. Thanks for biting, dude. See you later. Oh, he's gonna swim right in the rock. Why do they always head straight for the rock and get trapped? We'll have to help him. Oh, there he goes. And he goes right back for that rock. All right, we'll, we'll just let him chill there until he figures it out. Oh my goodness, that is so satisfying, you guys. Coming to a lake that you know is very tricky and catching one that quick, man, that feels good. Oh, missed one. Dang it, I wasn't paying attention. My indicator was all the way down for like two seconds. I'm sitting here looking for it. Shoot, you guys, dang it. There we go, fish on. Fish on, little tiger trout right here. There was like three others next to him too. Nice. Second fish of the day, pretty little tiger trout. He hit it the second I tossed my leech down there. I mean, this isn't a big fish, but there's a lot down there. We've had probably six bites from fish like this. Beautiful, beautiful tiger trout. We'll get him back quick and try to catch his buddies because there was like three or four others down there. Cute little thing. We'll just get him back quick. See you later. There he goes. I'll tell you, I've missed probably half a dozen fish at this point. Like indicator down and set the hook and just totally miss them. They're, they're hitting it, they're just not hitting it very good today. There we go, there we go. What do we got, what do we got, brook or tiger? Ooh, think it's a chunky tiger. Yeah, it's a chunky tiger. He ain't big, but that is a beautiful fish. I bet most of the bites I'm getting are from little tigers like this. I mean, that's not a bad fish actually. Really fat and healthy, check this out. That's a picture worthy fish right there. Look at that. Awesome, got him on the leech. That is so fun. Dude, there's nothing better than this right here. Tiger trout, brook trout at a beautiful lake. Obviously I'm here to catch big brook trout, but some bonus tiger trout are not bad. There he goes. Oh, shoot. Missed one right there. Dude, I swear. It's, it's, it's when I'm not paying attention. I'm like looking behind me or doing something else and then I turn and my indicator's down. There we go, right there in front of me. Watched him. Nice tiger. I think I actually might have snagged him because he is not that big, but he's fighting like it. I mean, I watched him take it. I watched him take it. No, I got, no, yeah, I got him in the side. Dang it. He was right in front of me and I watched him take it. So I guess I just set the hook right when he spit it or something. I'll let you go. Man, he's putting up a fight. Nice. Oh yeah, I got him right in the belly. Third tiger of the day, even though we didn't really catch him. Man, one of these tigers would be a great little meal. Perfect size. I don't know, we might, we might, but we're gonna let this one go. Oh, check that out. He's got a line inside of him. Someone caught this guy before. Oh my goodness. Oh, we just fell right out, look at that. An old rusty J hook just fell right out of his mouth. Huh, so this guy either broke someone off or was caught. Cool, cool. All right, we'll get him back. Later. Four fish on the day. Three tigers, one brook. I mean, we're catching fish, so we can't really complain, but I really want to get one of those giant brook trout in here. Hooked up, hooked up. It's been about 30 minutes. Look at that jump, holy cow. It's been about 30 minutes since we last caught one. We've got bites here and there, but it's been kind of slow. That's a quality fish. It's one of the bigger ones we've seen, or bigger ones we've caught. I am so tempted to keep this guy and cook him. But I think if we keep one, it's gonna be a brook trout. Oh gosh, nice. 
That's a solid tiger trout. Nice, on the leech. Sweet, that is so cool. Yeah, I think that's the biggest tiger trout we've caught today. Not a bad one. See you later. Oh, got him right there. That's a brook, that's a brook trout, there we go. <laughs> I just dipped it right there and I kind of lifted up and I watched him come up and I just set the hook into him. Not a very big brook trout, but this would be great for dinner. Man, I'm like so tempted to keep one. I'm not sure if I want to, but let's see what time it is. Now it's only three o'clock. We've got like four or five hours left of the day, so it's not quite dinner time just yet, but that would be a good one. Smaller than that first brook trout, but they're so beautiful in here. I don't know, I just feel like they got better colors in here almost. They're just pretty. All right, beautiful fish, we'll send him back. There he goes. Hooked up, hooked up on another tiger. This one is probably the prettiest one. Man, that is gorgeous, gorgeous tiger trout. Holy cow, oh, this guy ate the Copper John. That's the first fish that has not eaten the leech. There's a couple following behind him. Nice. That is easily the best colored out fish. And he ate the Copper John. That is so cool. Look at that. Look at that fish. That is absolutely beautiful. I think this is the fourth tiger trout of the day. We're at four tigers and two brook trout. Barely hooked in the tip of the nose with his little Copper John. All right, we definitely gotta get a pick of this guy. All right, send him back through the grass. There he goes. Well, we're definitely doing better than I thought we were in terms of numbers. Not so much size. You know, I'm going for the bigger fish, obviously, but we're catching a lot. We've caught six so far, um, so not bad. And we've missed, we've had so many bites on and off camera, it's ridiculous. So I'm pretty pleased, but if we can just get one big fish, I'll be satisfied. By the way, I've kind of given up on the gulp minnow. I used it for about an hour, didn't get a single bite, and then lost my hook on the bottom. So I figure we're catching fish on the fly rod. I'm not even gonna mess with it. So I'm sure there's some big fish down there that would eat it, but whatever. There we go, that's a good fish. That is actually a decent fish, I think. Yep, that's a good one, unless I snagged him. What is that? That's a good fish, dude. What do we got here? This is what we've been waiting for all day. Oh, yes, yes. Dude, it's staying down, it feels nice. Oh, is that just a nice tiger? No, wait, no, nope, that's a brook. That's a big old brook trout, big old brook trout. This is what we're here for. Look at that giant. All right, please don't come off. Please don't come off. I've been fishing for five hours for this fish. Come here, come here. This is the giant brook trout. Oh, there he goes. There he goes, taking a run. Look at that freaking giant. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> come here, come here, come here. Ooh, almost got him. Almost had him. Come on, come on. Oh! <laughs> he does not want to go in the net. Come on. Nice! Got him! Yes! Oh my goodness, you guys. This is what I came here for. This is what I came here for. Look at that giant brook trout. I mean, oh, that's gotta be like a pound, pound and a half. Holy cow. Looking at him in the net, that's even bigger than I thought. Whoo! Oh my goodness. Yes! I can barely even get my hand around him. Look at that thing. Are you freaking kidding me? That is the brook trout I'm here for. That is 100% the biggest brook trout I've caught all year. Easy. Not even close. Wow.
Whoa! All right, I gotta get some pictures of this guy. And there we go. That is what I've been searching for all day. Beautiful brook trout. This guy's probably pushing close to two pounds. I mean, he's pretty heavy. And look at that fish. Oh, I just can't believe that is an unreal fish. That's one of the biggest brook trout I've caught in a long time. Biggest one this year, that's for sure. All right, one last look at him. Absolute stud. Man, all right. Oh, he's ready, he's ready. There he goes, swims away healthy. That is what you like to see. <sighs> yes, finally got our big brook trout. It is 5'11", so that took six, about six hours, five, six hours to catch one. I mean, obviously we've caught a lot of smaller fish. That feels good, and we've got, we've got time to catch more, so. The sun is going behind the mountain. They might start feeding more. Let's get back in there. Oh, there we go. Tiger, chunky tiger. You know what, folks? This is gonna be dinner for us. This is a perfect fish to keep, and I'm honestly starving, so why not sweet beautiful little tiger trout perfect pan size we caught a giant brook trout we've been catching tigers all day now we're gonna cook one up look at that cool we're gonna clean them and skin them cook them in some hash browns sweet all right so we're not gonna cook this guy just yet but i am gonna gut him and then we'll keep fishing for a little bit longer we don't have too much time it's almost six o'clock look at that this fish has some orange meat. So these fish have definitely been in here a while, or not a while, but enough time to where they're getting the nice orange meat on them. Look at that, he's still twitching. Super easy. All right, that is gonna be delicious, but I'm not done fishing yet. I wanna get at least one more. All right guys, it is time to cook some dinner. I am actually really, really hungry. I haven't eaten anything in probably eight hours. Definitely doesn't help with my uh, sickness. I don't feel great, I feel very hungry. I found this little log that we're gonna use as our table. It's been kind of windy all day, but uh, it finally stopped and now it's just perfect. We'll go ahead and break out our cooking stuff. Oh, I can't wait, dude. A fresh tiger trout and hash browns. Kind of running low on propane here. We should have enough to cook, but gotta remember to buy another bottle. We're gonna have to balance it on this log. Current pan going on. I actually just ordered um, a backpacking skillet that's super lightweight, non-stick, and it comes with a lid and a handle, um, so I won't have to be dragging around this heavy thing or one of those cast iron ones. Go ahead and pour some water in. And we got some Idaho spuds. There we go. Stir them around. We'll take our tiger trout. Hmm. We'll just set them right in the middle. There we go. Then we'll throw some Santa Maria style seasoning on there. One of my new favorites. Stuff is absolutely delicious. And then we'll add some butter when it's a little bit more cooked. It's already starting to curl up. What are you doing? Stay down. There we go. Now we'll go ahead and cover it up with our plate. I hope I didn't put too much water in there. I'm looking at it and I'm thinking that might, well, I don't know. We'll, we'll see how it goes, but we'll go ahead and cover it up. It's easy as that. This has been a really good day. I'm so glad I decided to come out here instead of sitting in the house, just being sick. I definitely still feel sick, <clears throat> but, but I feel better doing this than if I would have just sat at home. Happy, happy, happy. Ooh, that's looking good. That cooks so fast. That trout is already like 80% of the way cooked. Five minutes and it's basically done. I am gonna take some butter. Hopefully the hash browns won't stick to the 
pan. That's kind of been my problem. That's why I got a nonstick skillet. There we go. See if we can take the meat off. This is gonna be good, I can tell. Look at that. Mm. Why did I not bring a lemon? Make sure to get all the little bones out. You're always gonna miss some. Just look at that, I don't care who you are. That looks good. Fresh pink trout, hash browns. I'm trying to get the hash browns a little crispy, have that like golden brown, but usually when I try to do that, I just burn them. So we're gonna try to do that this time. So far they're not sticking, they're looking good. That was not a very big fish. I mean, I'm so hungry, I really should have kept two. I always say that, but I really should have kept two. But I underestimated how hungry I was. Let them sizzle for a little bit longer, see if we can crisp those potatoes up, and then we'll be eating. <coughs> COVID. All right, so I'm gonna leave the stove on just to keep it warm while we eat, but I can't wait anymore. I'm starving. Big bite of hash browns and tiger trout. Oh my gosh, that's good. Do I even need to say it? It is honestly amazing. I know I'm hungry, so everything tastes better when you're hungry, but this is good, dude. Fresh trout from the lake and some dehydrated spuds. That is really good fish. Whoa, that's hot. Let your food cool down before you eat it. I don't even know what to say. This is a great way to end the day. This was a good day. We probably caught, I don't know, a good handful of tiger trout. If I had to guess like seven and caught a giant brook trout, a medium brook trout, and a small brook trout. I'm really proud of my performance today. Couldn't really get those hash browns crisped up like I wanted, but it's all right. good you know honestly guys I kind of wish I would have just packed up all my camping stuff so I could stay the night out here but I have I have nothing so I don't know but in that spirit I'm not gonna end the video right here I am gonna go somewhere tomorrow I don't know if it's gonna be here or somewhere completely different but the video is not over yet we're gonna see if we can catch some more nice fish maybe cook one up but we're just gonna make one long big epic fishing movie. By the way guys, I found this giant mushroom on the trail and I was gonna ask you guys, is this edible? Probably not, because most of the mushrooms out here are not edible, and even if it was, it's kinda old and nasty, but I mean, just let me know. Is that uh, something you can put in your body? Looks cool either way. I really wanna do some kinda like mushroom scavenging, catch and cook. I know, I've seen a lot of puffball mushrooms, and about 99.99% .99 for sure, and I'm about 99.99% sure I know what they look like and you can eat them. There's always that little voice in the back of your head like, dude, you're gonna die. So yeah, if you guys wanna see some kind of mushroom video, let me know. I think it'd be really cool to try. It's just kind of scary because, you know, you mess up, you're dead. All right, now for the most important part of the day, seeing if the truck will start. Oh, yes. All right, I'll see you guys tomorrow. All right guys, so it is a couple days later. I was gonna come back out here yesterday, but I honestly was quite sick. So I took a day, tried to get better. So we're back out here at the same lake. We're gonna do some camping tonight. I brought some camping stuff, some food, and I cannot wait. We're getting a late start because listen to how dumb I am. I got most of the way here and realized I don't have any SD cards. So I had to go all the way back, get some SD cards so I could film for you guys so we lost quite a bit of time we've only got like two hours to fish and then we got to go set up camp hopefully we'll make the best of it and catch some nice fish uh, it has been raining all day long so everything out here is soaking wet so it's gonna be fun starting a fire tonight but yeah hopefully the fish are biting we'll see let's go 
All right, so we're starting off at the same spot we did yesterday, just right along these rocks. Right when I walked up, I spooked a nice fish right off here. So, I mean, they're they're still here. Hopefully they're hungry. And since yesterday, the only fly that was working was a leech. I've got a double leech rig. Up top, we got an olive green down to a black. These were actually sent in by a subscriber. I don't know if he tied them or if he just bought them, but using more subscribers lower. So shout out to whoever tied these for sent man i forgot your name sorry but yeah let's give it a try all right i'll get back to you guys if i get a fish hooked up hooked up folks didn't take too long looks like it's a nice brook trout yep nice brook trout Ooh, not a giant but that's a solid fish look at that nice heck yeah didn't take too long. I turned my camera off and we've been fishing probably 10 minutes. And that was the first hit and first fish. We're one for one. He took the top leech. Nice, oh no, he took the bottom leech. Sweet, barely pinned him right there in the corner. Just twist it out. Heck yeah, folks. That is awesome. First little brook trout of the day, first fish of the day. Here we go. Beautiful little brook trout probably about half a pound or so. Gorgeous male though, look at those colors. Holy cow, I love it. All right, let's get him back. Beautiful fish. There he goes, yes. Well, we're off to a good start. Been fishing for about 15 minutes and we're on the board with one. Nice. Oh, one just jumped over there. I just missed another bite, you guys. <sighs> I had my camera off and I was messing with the settings and then I looked down and my indicator's clear down there. So I set the hook one-handed and missed him. There we go, there's a fish. Oh, it's a little tiger. <laughs> We've still got a lot of these little tigers down there. That's just a little guy. We'll just get him off here. He's not even worth netting. Okay, come on. Hey, he's getting tangled. Hey, another pretty tiger. First one of the day. Get him back quick. I think the next thing I need to get is some bigger indicators. Because these little ones, I can barely see them. But also, they're a lot more stealthy. So you don't spook the fish as easy. Oh, there's a hit. Oh. All right guys, well that is gonna do it for this evening's session of fishing. I really wish we would have gotten out here earlier. I mean, we caught a nice brook trout and a little tiger trout, so not bad, but it is getting cold out here. It's like six o'clock. We gotta go find a camping spot and get a fire going because it's actually getting really cold out here. Let's go. All right guys, so I found a nice little camping spot back here. I'm kind of secluded from everything. Um, got a little fire pit right there. First thing I'm gonna do, obviously make a fire. Everything is still kind of soggy. So I don't know if this might be tricky, but we're gonna get a fire going and then cook some food. I am starving, but it's getting cold out here. So we gotta make a fire. Now these sticks are still a little bit wet. They should be dry enough to light. Got a paper towel here. I know it's cheating. Some of you guys are gonna lose your mind. It's not real camping, but whatever. Light, light, please. All right, so we got a fire going and I got this branch right here that I'm gonna use as a hot dog stick because I don't have a hot dog stick. So yeah, we're doing hot dogs for dinner, um, but not just any hot dogs. We got some Johnsonville Better Cheddars, which are gonna be amazing. And not only that, but we have bacon. We're gonna wrap these bad boys in bacon. A fellow YouTuber did this and I thought it looked amazing and I can't get it out of my head until we try it. And we got a little 74 cent pie from Walmart, a little cherry pie, so it's gonna be interesting. We gotta make sure our fire doesn't go out it was honestly kind of a pain to get it going. All right, so we got our bacon wrapped hot dog looking beautiful. I am starving, dude. Hopefully the fire doesn't burn my stick. All right, I'll get back to you guys when this bad boy's done. Mm. 
And there we go. Oh my goodness. Better cheddar and bacon. No ketchup or mustard, nothing like that. Probably wait for this guy to cool down a little bit. We don't want to burn ourselves. Mmm, that's the most glorious thing. That fire feels so nice. I'm gonna make another one. The trick is getting the bacon to cook all the way and evenly. That's kind of tricky. Boom. And this is so much fun, dude. I'm so glad fall is here because honestly, my favorite time to camp is in the fall. And I mean, it's not really fall yet, but we're getting there. As I've been driving around today, I'm starting to see a lot more uh, aspens that have got yellow leaves. So we're probably two, three weeks away from it being all colored up out here, which I absolutely love fall. I love fishing in fall. I love camping in fall. It is just the best time of year, Halloween, but it's just a reminder that a long dark cold lonely winter is near so you really gotta enjoy it but i'm not saying goodbye to summer just yet i mean there's still some warm days the days are still somewhat long i mean the trees are still mostly green so we're gonna enjoy summer can't be thinking about fall quite yet okay i could be wrong but i think i just heard some elk bugling over there i don't know guys i feel like it's too early for them to start bugling but i swear i just heard them that is crazy Ooh, kind of getting smoked out because this wood is kind of wet still so it's got to dry out before it burns and it's just smoking out nothing better than going to bed smelling like smoke i love it all right it is done beautiful bacon wrapped better cheddar surprised our sticks held up this long this is the life Mmm. Okay, this one is a lot better. That first one, the bacon didn't get super crispy. This one is absolutely perfect. Oh man, that's good. It's not camping unless you have a little bit of ash on your hot dog. You know, you can really taste that fire flavor. All right guys, I'm gonna tap out at two hot dogs, but we also have this cherry pie that we're gonna do a little review on. 74 cent cherry pie from Walmart. We'll see, we'll see. All right, so it comes in a little cute tin like that. Presentation. Three out of five. It probably would be better if it was warmed up a little bit, but I don't care. It's a little pie cookie almost. Why'd I just blow on it? Seventy-four cent cherry pie from Walmart. It's all right. I mean, yeah, is is it worth the seventy-four cents? Sure, it's pretty good. If it was a dollar, no, it would not be worth it. 74 cents? Yeah. You're getting what you pay for. It ain't bad. Would I get it again? Yeah. So I guess the only thing to do now is just sit back, chill by the fire. It's keeping us nice and warm. But before we do that, my uh, sleeping situation for tonight, no tent, no nothing. We're just sleeping in the back of the truck. Got some blankets, pillows. Hopefully we stay warm enough in here. But we'll see, last time I slept in the back of here, it got pretty cold. I'll let you guys know in the morning if I died or not. But yeah, now it's just chill by the fire time and think about all the fish I'm gonna catch tomorrow. So, I'll see you guys in the morning. Good morning guys. It is like nine o'clock, definitely slept in, but honestly I was just so tired that I didn't want to get out of bed and it was cold, but I got a fire going. And before we go fishing, I'm gonna cook up some oatmeal real quick. Got some Quaker and then we will get to fishing. But yeah, it was pretty cold last night. Thankfully my sleeping bag is super warm. In terms of how comfortable the back of my truck was, wasn't too bad wasn't too bad this sleeping bag is super warm so I mean it was it was pretty good I got this new cook set comes with a couple pans and a pot and some lids uh, it's gonna be way better for backpacking instead of hauling around the cast iron pans all the time it even comes with this little handle you can clip into the side first meal ever cooked with this pot 
All right, do we want strawberries and cream, peaches and cream, blueberries and cream, or bananas and cream? You know, whatever I pull out first is what we're gonna have. Bananas and cream, dang it. All right, we'll go with it. You know what, we'll go ahead and cook two, might as well. Peaches and cream, all right, that's a little better. go we're gonna eat this and then we're gonna head to the lake and see if we can catch some big fish all right here we are day three at the lake hopefully we just completely crush them today got the same rig i was using last night double leech rig and we're just gonna keep hitting the shoreline see if we can run into anything big there was a hit dude i got hit after 20 seconds of it in the water, I just got hit. Dude, there we go, fish on. <laughs> less than a minute, we're hooked up on a little tiger trout. <laughs> That's crazy. Been here less than a minute, and we've already got a fish. Little tiger trout, nothing crazy, but it's a start. We've already got the skunk out of the boat. Look at that little guy. Get him back quick. That is awesome. That feels so awesome. We've literally been here like less than a minute. Or my, my leech was in the water less than a minute. I don't want to get too confident though, because a lot of times when that happens, you know, you get one right when you get there, and then for the rest of the day, you get nothing. Not going to get too confident, but that was cool. Hooked up. Hooked up on a nice tiger. About 15 minutes after that first one. This one's a little bit chunkier. This is actually, this might be the biggest tiger we've caught in the past few days. Check that out. That's actually not a bad fish. 100% the biggest tiger we've caught so far. In fact, when I hooked him, I thought it was a brook trout. Look at that chunky fish. Oh yeah, now that's a real fish. I mean, it's not huge, but compared to the tigers we've been catching the past few days, that's not a bad one biggest one for sure awesome yes we're at two tiger trout no brook trout yet we have missed two bites no three bites off camera I've just had my camera off because I want to conserve battery because the bites are usually few and far between and there's been fish jumping all up and down so they're definitely active they're on shore there we go oh my gosh dude what the crap? I had him hooked too for a second. It felt like a good one. There we go. There we go. <laughs> There's a nice tiger. Nice. Little tigers. That's the story of this trip. Haven't really keyed in on those brook trout, but we've caught a few. As long as we're catching fish, that's all that matters. Here we go. Oh, come on. Get him back quick. See you later, buddy. That guy came off this fallen tree right here. Oh, there's a hit. There we go. Another tiger, I think, yep. Nice. That one's a little bigger. Chunky tigers. There we go. Another one, fish number four. It's kind of slow out here. Fishing for a couple hours and we've only got four little tigers. Haven't seen any brookies yet. All right. There we go, right after. There's a school of them down there. There's a school of tigers down there. Ooh, this is a nice one. Feels like they're bigger today. The ones we're getting today are bigger than the ones we were catching yesterday, or the other day. We'll get the net for this guy. Yeah, dude. This is, this is a good fish. This might be the biggest one. He popped off the hook too. Cool, cool. Not a bad fish, dude. I'm happy just catching these guys. Like, I can't complain. They're absolutely beautiful. They're so much fun. Later. All right, so we just got three fish right here back to back. So there's definitely a school down there looking to feed. Oh. Oh, missed another one. 
missed another one. That was a horrible hook set because my line was all curvy, you know? Dang it, that was a missed opportunity. Should have had him. There he is again. There he is again. Instantly back in there. We get hit again. Another tiger. <laughs> this is so much fun, dude. That's the fourth one off this log. Another nice tiger. Nice, nice. I'll tell you, these are some aggressive, healthy tiger trout. I can't wait to come back next year and fish for them because they're probably going to be quite a bit bigger. Time check, it is 1230, so it's just about lunchtime. We should start thinking about keeping one of these guys to cook up. And I want to cook up a brook trout. Since we cooked up a tiger the other day, I want to try and get a brook trout. But, I mean, clearly we're not really finding them, so. Oh, dude, one just jumped right there. Right there. Dude, there's a couple brook trout right there. They don't want it though. He's right there at my feet. Just a little guy, but he'd be perfect for the pan. Come on, eat it. Oh, a brook trout just came up, looked at it, and denied it. He's still right there. There's a couple brook trout and a couple tiger trout right hanging around this log. And they're looking at my flies, but they're not sure they keep denying them there we go there we go Ooh, nice tiger you know what folks I I'm gonna keep this guy even though I want to cook a brook trout but I mean that's clearly not happening haven't had a bite from one all day so this is gonna be lunch no <laughs> Oh my gosh, it never fails. It never fails. It's unreal. Like, literally, if I want to keep a fish, I'm not going to land that fish. I need to just keep my mouth shut. Dang it. That was the first one in like 40 minutes too. Oh man, what a joke. Hooked up, hooked up. This is going to be dinner. What is it? It feels bigger. I either snagged a tiger or it's a decent brook trout. It, it's a brook trout. It's a nice brook trout. Nice. Yes, dude. Fine. No. You've got to be kidding me. Oh my gosh. Well, that was a nice brook trout. I don't even know what to say. That really makes me mad. It is, it, it, we've been fishing for about six hours and all we've caught are little tiger trout. That's the first good fish, the first brook trout. And that was not a small brook trout either. That was probably about a pound or so. Gets off right at my feet. I don't know, whatever. There was another one. Are you kidding? That, that really sucks. That was a good brook trout. Oh, that hurts so bad. And that hurts because I've only hooked a couple decent brook trout in the past couple days. There we go. There we go. That's a tiger. Nice tiger. That's dinner. That's dinner. If we can land him. If we can land him. Come on. Come on. Nice. Oh, well, it's not the brook trout we were after, but I'm not letting this guy go. Heck no. You are dinner, my friend. Thank you. That's a solid fish, too. Kind of makes up for that brook trout we just lost. Not quite, though. Oh, and he just popped off. Nice. Nice, tiger. Heck yeah. I'll take that. And there we go, folks. We finally have dinner. It's almost 4 o'clock. Fishing has not been great, but we have something to cook. We're just going to set them right here for now while we keep fishing. See if we can get our big brook trout. Although, I don't know. I don't know. It's not looking great. Because, I mean, those fish are so freaking smart. Come on, I know there's one down there. I feel it. Yep. <laughs> tiger. Little tiger. <laughs> I told you I felt it. I told you. Ooh, pretty. I feel like we're catching bigger and prettier tiger trout today. I mean, that is a beautiful fish. Look at that. Colors are just unreal. Just get this guy back quick. Thanks for biting, sir. See you later, buddy. Man, we've really caught the tigers this trip. 
I don't know how many. If I had to guess, like total between the past couple days, we're definitely double digits. Probably about 15, maybe more. I don't know. All right. I'm feeling it again. I'm feeling a brook trout this time. I know there's one down there. There definitely is because every once in a while you'll see them hit the surface clear up through here. They're down there. Oh, I can feel one down there. I just know there's one down there looking at it. You know, you just get a feeling, man. It's almost too quiet. There's one down there looking at it. Yep, dude. That's a good fish. That's a big brook. That's a big brook trout. There we go. That's a big brook trout. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, dude. Oh, 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 oh. Yes. Okay. Okay. We got to get him in. We got to get him in. Keep tension. Keep tension. That's a pig. That's a pig. That's a pig. That's a pig. Oh my gosh. Okay. 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 Yes. 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 <laughs> yes, dude. Look at that. <laughs> yes. Oh my gosh. Are you kidding me? Look at that fish. That is gorgeous. That is a gorgeous fish. Ooh, that's prettier than the one we caught the other day. Look at that thing. Are you kidding me? It's not quite as big. I mean, this is still a big brook trout. Not as big as the one the other day, but that is pretty. Look at that, <laughs> folks. Yes, we did it. Oh my gosh, that is beautiful. You've gotta be kidding me. I knew he was down there, I knew it. All right, we're gonna keep this guy in the water while we get pictures of him. I want him to stay healthy. Check that fish out. Oh, are you kidding me? We've been fishing for hours and hours just to catch a couple of these fish. Like, that is just crazy. Yeah, definitely not as big as the one the other day, but I really do think this one's prettier. Look at that. That is just crazy. Finally, I was really thinking that we weren't gonna get one today. Oh, that is beautiful. Alrighty. Almost looks like an arctic char. It's so colorful. And he's ready to go. He's nice and healthy. Oh yeah, he's ready, he's kicking. Oh, and there he goes. See you later, buddy. Ooh, baby. Well, I'm okay if we don't get another fish the rest of the day. We, I'm just so glad we got one big brook trout today. Whew. All right. Whew, man. You know, those are honestly some of the most rewarding fish I've ever caught. We've had quite a few bites here in the past little while, so probably just gonna stay here and eventually go cook that fish, but we're gonna see if we can get another big one. Oh, something just hit it, like tapped it barely tapped it. It's like he was just swimming by and breathed on it. What I've noticed are the brook trout. I mean, I've only caught a couple of them, but the tiger trout are the ones that kind of tap it a little bit and then dunk it for a second and then dunk it again. The bigger brook trout I've caught or just the brook trout in general, they've just, it's been super soft. It's just been a soft bite and take it straight under. Like they don't mess around with it. They just take it straight under. So it's like they're a lot more trickier to fool, but once they decide to eat it, they're gonna eat it. No hesitation. He's deciding whether or not to bite. Come on, do it. I know you're there. Dude, are you kidding me? <laughs> I'm not even kidding, I just got hit. I just got hit, you cannot make this stuff up. That is hilarious. Every time I say there's one down there, I get hit. Like, this is not a coincidence anymore. <laughs> there we go, there we go. Oh my gosh, I look down for a second and I just feel my rod go. This guy slammed it nice tiger trout we're probably gonna end the day on this fish folks probably gonna go because i am hungry we gotta go cook this is a good fish though nice one to end the day took the bottom black leech this was sent in by a subscriber i don't know if he tied it or what but it worked beautiful tiger <laughs> 
<laughs> I love these fish. This has been so much fun. All right. See you later, buddy. And that's a wrap. All right, folks, we have all our cooking stuff set up right here. We're doing trout and hash browns again today because, I don't know, tastes good, so I'm going to keep making it. First thing we'll do is light up our stove, assuming it doesn't run out of propane. All right. First time cooking on this pan. Go ahead and pour some water. Take some hash browns. Pour them in. And we're going to put a little bit more. It's not very many. I'm pretty hungry. And we'll take our tiger trout, set them in the middle, and hopefully that pan is stable. Should be. And we'll throw some oaky and smoky seasoning on there. take our lid cover it up just like that there we go and then we'll take some butter and lemon at the end just to you know give it that extra flavor I remembered the lemon this time that is looking amazing and we're actually gonna try to get those potatoes crisped up Ooh, that's hot go ahead and peel that meat away Whew. goodness Perfect. There we go. Just left with the meat. I'm gonna take a little butter. It's frozen solid. Holy cow. There we go. And a lemon. Just squeeze some lemon juice over all of it. Make sure that butter melts down so the hash browns don't stick. I wish you guys could smell this right now. It smells so freaking delicious. Give it a little while longer so those hash browns can uh, hopefully crisp up a little bit. Fish is cooked perfectly. Those hash browns are starting to get a little bit of a crisp on them. Now let's go ahead and try a bite. Get a bite of fish. Hot off the pan. Fresh out of the lake and hot off the pan. Man, I love it out here, dude. It's just so calm and peaceful, especially today. It's just like you could hear a pin drop right now. Hope you guys enjoyed this video as much as I did making it. It was a really fun couple days, caught some good fish, two giant brook trout and a bunch of small tiger trout. See, I'm really glad we caught a couple of those nice fish. It was absolutely worth it. If you guys wanna see more camping videos like this, let me know in the comments below. I love doing them, so you can expect them whether you like it or not. If you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. I would really appreciate it. But other than that, thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in the next one.